It is time for a upper body workout with dumbbells and horizon balance trainer. Um, we are starting to do more of these workouts for you, our Life Pro friends and family. So welcome anyone who's joining in on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. This video is going to be recorded and stored in the YouTube library on the Life Pro under Life Pro. So if you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Um, and if you have dumbbells but not the balance trainer, that's okay. You can do just the workout with the dumbbells. If you have just the balance trainer and not the dumbbells, start with something like two cans or something so you can get used to the arm movements. So we, we just want to honor where you're at in your fitness journey and uh, help you to get stronger along the way. Life Pro's got a whole plethora of products for wellness, sports, recovery, for strength, for endurance. And um, we are continuing to bring these trainings to you. This Today's training is an upper body workout level one. So I'm not gonna do anything too fancy, too complicated, and but it is gonna be a workout. Once I start going, I'm not gonna stop and uh, explain things as much as I normally do. If you guys know me, I, I like to go into a lot of detail about how to do things correctly. I've been a fitness trainer for 24 years and I work with clients that are, are active aging adults that have issues in their tissues that want to stay strong and stay fit. And I also work with fit people that are like want to get stronger. So it's like, it doesn't matter what age you are, man, woman, or where you are in your life. Uh, the whole idea is we, we need to be strong to get old. So today I'm going to use my uh, power flow uh, dumbbells. And I, I, I need to take my cheat sheet here just for a second, because I want to let you guys know that through Life Pro, they've got power flow, 12 and a half pounds, power ups, up to 15 and a half pounds. These are adjustable weights. The Power Flow Plus are up to 25 pounds. The Power Flow Pro, which um, I am using, are up to 55 pounds. Power, power, power Flow Max, 80 pounds, and Power Flow X, 55 pounds. So, so there are there's something for everybody when it comes to adjustable dumbbells. And I'm going to tell you, as a trainer, I love these because look at in this little unit right here, I've got two sets of weights from four to 55 pounds. They're easy to adjust so I can go from one to another and it's simple to do. Also the uh, Horizon Balance Trainer, um, I have the uh, mini stability ball. And I'm gonna use that for the warm up. This is gonna be you know, somewhere around 20, 25 minute workout. And a little heads up for everybody who's joining me or watching this later on. We are going to continue these level one, level twos for a while with different types of equipment. And my hope is that I'm going to bring you more and more workouts along the way. So if there's something you're looking for that you want more of in your life, whether it's upper body, lower body, core, uh, with specific products from Life Pro, please type in the chat. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. I'm here to help you. I feel so grateful, so blessed to be part of the team along with Amber and Debbie and all the other in social influencers to show you how awesome Life Pro products are. So without further ado, I've done enough chatting. Um, let me know where you're joining in from and if you have any questions on any of this. As I mentioned, I'm not going to be stopping to read the questions unless I can see them. I My carbon vision isn't that great, but um, if I see something, I'll try to answer. Otherwise, I'm gonna get into this workout. So today, the warm up's gonna be with the mini stability ball. If you don't have that, you can just grab um, a pillow or a, a, maybe a yoga block or a towel or something. But I just wanna warm your shoulders up. And also, um, I will do a little cool down in the end, a little stretching. Most of this actually, this workout will be standing. We're not gonna do anything funky about balancing with one arm, leg and the other. I'm gonna be standing just for a lot of working on stability. So you are working your legs, you're working your core. There are gonna be 10 separate exercises. In terms of reps, I'm gonna go about eight to 10 usually. Uh, I look at this as uh, a workout of quality movement, not quantity. 
a suggestion I'm going to give you is to watch all of this and then maybe break down parts if it's too much for you as a level one. Maybe do uh, half of the exercises one day and half the other day um, or break it in thirds. Um, you can also do this at the work on your vibration platform. This will be a little different than what I did last week or two weeks ago, I did upper body workout level one on a vibration platform. This is gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be standing. So without further ado, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair up. And I'm gonna have ready to start this. I'll probably go into, um, I'm gonna go into seven pounds for each of my dumbbells, okay? So I'm gonna get those ready at seven pounds. Okay, I'm ready with to go. So let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Um, I'm going to step, step, step on my balance trainer. So I, I like to look down one time just to see where my feet are, okay? And then I'm going to make sure that I'm standing up. I'm, I'm squeezing my thighs together. I'm going to put the ball right through the chest. I'm going to squeeze and release that ball, just kind of engaging into my pecs and shoulders. I'm pushing into the squishy ball, as Amber calls it, while I'm getting used to being on the balance trainer. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything fancy on this balance trainer, so that's the good news about this. But when I start adding weight to this, it's a game changer. So now you're going to take that ball and make circles. So we're pushing forward and around. You exhale. It's a big circle. I'm sweeping out and around, but I'm keeping pressure into the ball. And we're going to go for five. Down and around four. Belly pulled in three and breathe two. You're going to reverse that. So you push down, shoulders down, reach away, up and around. I'm depressing scapula, retracting, protracting, and round. So there's a lot of stuff going in my shoulder blades to warm up all those shoulder muscles, the rotator cuff muscles. You've got two more. Use your breath. Exhale, inhale, and one more. Great. So now from here, we're going to take that ball over the head. And you probably don't see, I think I'm out of my camera, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in front of my forehead, side, back, and around. And I'm going to do a little bit of stretch in each side of my ribs, my lats. And welcome, Debbie from Virginia. Glad you're here. Are you going to work out with me today or just watch it? <laughs> take a breath in and out as you do this. Make sure your shoulder blades stay down and your belly stays in. You can feel the instability of your arms making your uh, body sway. That's one. Good. And roll the shoulders and relax. So that was our quick little warm-up. It took literally about two minutes. Now you can set the ball aside. You don't need it. And grab your seven-pound weights. Make sure you bend and stand up. Just don't lean over. I don't want you to strain your back. Properly pick these weights up and up. Down. And now go ahead and stand back on. First set. We're going to do alternating bicep curls. But before this, just bring both arms up, elbows in, and then press down. Let's do about five of these just to feel the weight equally distributed. Reaching my knuckles down, bringing the weights up. I try to keep the elbows in. This is more of a hammer curl. Use an exhale, full range. The triceps kick in on this last one. Now, I'm going to alternate this. It's going to be one arm and then the other. If you find in level one that this is a little too much instability for you, keep both arms working at one at the same time. My knees are slightly bent, and I can feel how my core has to engage as I do this. You're going to do four more each side, and breathe, and three. Shoulders are really working to stay down. Two. And one more each way. And then bring the arms down. I'm just going to turn my hands out just to get a nice stretch in my biceps and wiggle out my fingers a little bit. Let my weights roll down and stretch out. So that was a stretch in between my next set. Next set is going to be a shoulder press. So I'm going to move my camera because I realize I'm getting cut out a little bit. And I want to make sure you see. I'm kind of picky about shoulder presses. And I'll tell you why. As we do the work. Find your balance. Okay, you're going to bring the weights up. They're resting on your shoulders. You're going to push up. I just kept my elbows in, slightly above my shoulders, and down. 
I don't want to go all the way up. I'm not looking for that full extension. I want to keep the muscle loaded. So this is two arms working at the same time, reaching up over the head and down. Exhale up, inhale down. Those of you that care to join me, one arm, then the other. And exhale. So alternating arms makes our core work a little bit more. And what do I mean by core? Glutes, abs, shoulders, that's it. Two more each side. One more each side. This is seven pounds in each hand and release. Now you're gonna roll your shoulders up. Now this is a little, it's level one, but it's a little rubbing your belly and tapping your head at the same time. You're gonna go into a bicep curl and press up and release. It's a combination, hammer curl to a shoulder press, overhead press. Taking an inhale and exhale. So I stay in the same plane here, elbows forward, in line with the shoulders. I wanna keep my pecs working, my, my medial deltoids working. The deltoids have three different heads. We're working the medial, the middle head of it. A little bit of the um, anterior, a little bit of posterior, but not much. Two more, everybody. And I've had a really good counter when it comes to reps. So if you've done a few extra, good for you. <laughs> and bring it down, roll your shoulders up. Now I'm gonna do a tricep extension. So on this one, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna use actually the same weight. I'm not gonna be changing weights that much. I'm gonna show you from the side. I'm gonna move over a little bit and I'm gonna bend my knees. My weights are at my hips and I'm gonna look on an angle, I'm gonna push back. Now, if you find level one, this is too much. And I wanna show you this because I'm gonna end up going in single arm. This is your first option. If this is too much, here's what's gonna happen. Take one weight on the floor, okay, come back. Hand on your thigh, and you're gonna kick back. See my arm go straight here. Or you can put your hand on your shoulder. Now from here, I'm gonna do eight more reps. Exhale, reach the knuckles away, tuck the chin in, belly tight. I'm keeping my collarbones lifted, and you've got two more of these. And one, okay? Let's go to the other side. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see it. And you're gonna bring your elbow in. Again, hand on your thigh for support, hand at your shoulder and reach up. Full extension, okay? Watch your wrists are not uh, cocky, you're not cocky in the wrists. You're just pushing from the shoulder joint to the knuckles. And exhale. Let's go for eight. Keeping the elbow lifted. The single joint move. Breathe. <laughs> I'm giggling because I can feel how my leg muscles are working to keep me stable. Last four. Reach far out. Three. Shoulder joint is open. Two. And one. And come on in and roll it out. So come on down for a second. And take a quick little stretch. Grab onto your elbows. Drop your head and stretch up. And just take a little side bend. Now, I'm going to go into a wide row. I'm going to work the posterior deltoid with the rear deltoid. And I think today, because it's level one, I'm going to keep one arm working. So from the front, I'm hinging, hand on my thigh, and the weight is facing my thigh. From the side, my elbow is going out to the side. Okay? So we reach out and out. Abs are pulled in. Take a fist under your chin to make sure you're not, your head's not dropping. My gaze is at, at an angle. And out. Let's go five more of these. You don't have to get high on the arm. You just want to feel that muscle work, not your neck. Three and two and one. Go ahead and straighten yourself up. Roll the shoulder out. I'm going to switch sides. Like I said, you can do this with two arms, but I find if you're starting out, you're gonna use your neck a lot more than your rear deltoid. So you're gonna hold on to your thigh for support. You're gonna bring the elbow out to the side. I'll show you from the front view what this looks like. I'm looking down to the floor. I want you to see how my elbow is going out. Exhale. At the 
My hands kind of relax, okay? I'm not squeezing this weight a lot. Okay, I want to just let the arm bone, the humerus bone do the work. Let's go for four, reach wide, three, and two, and one. And use your abs, use your glutes to stand up. Okay, from here, guys, let's take a little stretch here. I'm gonna go ahead and reach your arms forward, drop your chin, stretch between your shoulder blades, and really scroll your shoulders out. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my weights. Um, I'm gonna take one weight now, so let's go add some weight to this. This uh, was seven pounds. I'm gonna do a quick switch, and I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit it at 13 pounds, I think I'll go 13. I almost was gonna say 16, but I'm gonna be a little smarter than that today. Okay, now I wanna hold on to the sides of the dumbbell, okay? And my elbows are gonna be wide. I'm gonna go into an upright row. Shoulders are down. It's like you're zipping up your jacket here, okay? This is a uh, one weight, elbows wide. I'm still hitting my shoulders. Oh, you can see me wiggling a little bit. I do work back muscles doing this because I'm staying upright. Let's go for five more. Last two. And last one. Hold it there. Make sure your shoulders are down but your elbows are lifted. That's important on this exercise. Just hold it for a few seconds and breathe. And then release. Roll your shoulders out. <clears throat> so we're going to set this weight down. I'm going to just roll my shoulders out a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go into a little bit of a different move here. I did an upright row. And I want to still work shoulders, OK? No, this is upper body work. So I'm talking a lot of shoulders, pec, and back. So I want to suggest that you go a little lighter than what you just did. So I was at 13 pounds. That means I'm going to go to 11. This little break in between is just giving you some time for recovery. Okay? I told you I was going to move quickly on this. Okay. Now, here are your two options. Okay? Option one is to go with a lighter weight. This is my seven pound weight. Okay? And to go to a front raise. That's your option one. Okay? But I'd like you as a level one to do both arms for now, okay? So hold on, hold your weights, and check out to make sure you feel like you've got a good grip on these weights and you're gonna reach forward. Now, if you see from my side view, my hands are a little higher than my shoulders, okay? And exhale. <laughs> this is gonna really challenge your balance on here because you're swinging your weight forward. A lot of abs on this, a lot of glutes. Reach and then rest at the bottom. Control the move. Use your breath. We've got five more of these. Shoulder blades drop, arms reach. Can you feel your abdominals working? Last two. Now, sometimes people ask me, should I be in my shoes or barefoot on the boat on the balance trainer? I'm, I'm saying it's up to you. Socks are not going to be a helpful, I would say, barefoot. Or you're going to be on your on your shoes. So we're going to roll the shoulders out a little bit here, okay. a little bit of a backstroke. Now we've already done seven exercises. I've done front raises, upright rows, rear deltoids, triceps, biceps, and shoulder presses. I'm going to get you down on the floor. We've got we've been in this for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we've got three more exercises on the floor. If you cannot get on the floor. Today, I'll give you an option. So let me do these exercises first, and then I'm going to come up and do an option for those of you that can't get on the floor, okay? So when we're talking about the next three exercises, it's going to be chest press, skull pressures, and tricep press-ups. And we will go ahead with two weights. So I want to make sure that both my weights are even. And I think I'll go chest muscles can do a, a lot of pressing. So I'm going to go into my, uh, I'm at 11 pounds. I'm going to go nine pounds each way. 
Now, guys, when you're beginning out, go really light. Honestly, go light. Underestimate yourself so that your form is optimal first, and then when you're feeling comfortable, you'll add weight on. And go slow with your reps. So I've got nine pounds in each side. Okay? I'm laying on the floor. I think you all can see me. You've got a couple options here. This dome you're going to roll into, and I want your head to rest. So I literally want your head to rest. Adjust yourself, grab the weights, and your head's going to rest. Now, if that's not comfortable for you, you'll probably want to um, keep adjusting it. Your, your chest is lifted. You're going to push the weights all the way up. They're over your chest, and you're going to bring the hands to face the knees, and you're going to come down on it. Inhale, exhale, touch together. Breathe in and out. Keep your eyes looking at the weights or over your knees. Like I said, I, these are nine pounds. Chances are it could go a little heavier, but I've got another exercise I'm going to compound with this. So I want to make sure that I can do both exercises. Now I've got four more of these presses. Breathe in, exhale up. The elbows never lock out at the top. Last two. And last one. The weights come down, and you're going to just lift your head up. Let the weights sit down. Put your hands behind your head and open up your chest. Get a little stretch here. While you're here, wiggle back a little. This is a bonus. We're going to add some crunches. You're going to press into your ribs and back. Open up the chest. Flexion. You may even want to reach the legs straight out so you're on your hip flexors and you're going to use the belly muscles. You're pulling the belly in and up. Look at your toes. They should be pointing up. Okay, I don't want you to pull your head with your hands. Your head's there just to support you. You want to feel the abdominals pressing in. Let's do a couple more of these. And last one. I know I'm almost at the screen here, but you're seeing what you need to see the upper body. Bend both knees, roll up. We're into triceps now. So when I do triceps, what I want to make sure is I'm pressing from elbows to straight up. This is the move. This is a tricep press up. Ready? Come down with me. Adjust yourself. Shoulder blades are flat. You're going to press up and down. Now, if you are a chin popper, put a towel under your head. We are gliding to your elbows and back. The weights are over your elbow joint. Press it up. Breathe in. Power up. Chances are you can keep your legs straight on this. It's going to be your call, what feels best on your back. But the weight is in the heel of the hands. The neck is long. Your eyes are gazing toward your weights. And you're pushing from between the, the nipple and navel line. And I'm going to give you about five more of these. Belly is tight. And four. Three. <laughs> Last time laughing because, man, I feel this. Two. And one. Bring the weights down. Lift your head. One weight comes down, then the other. Take your hands behind your head and roll back again. So get a nice little stretch here. Lift your head and grab onto one knee and roll yourself up. So I've got one more exercise I want to do on the ground. Um, lay down. It's going to be a, a tricep extension, a skull crusher. But I will add a few more just for people who can't lay down on the ground. I'm going to show you another way to do a chest press. So skull crusher, grab one weight, okay? And if you feel that you still got a little bit left in your triceps, and I think I do, I'm going to add, go from 9 pounds to 11 pounds. What the heck? That's how easy it was to change, okay? I'm going to hold on to the weight. Now you got to make sure you can hold this stuff, right? Arms over, hands over the shoulders. You're going to take it back and exhale. If you find that your hands can't grip this, and I'm finding a little bit of because it's heavy, I'm going to hold uh, the handle, the center bar, with both hands. I'm going to bend back, past my head. That's why they call this skull pressure, and reach up. Keep looking over your chest as you push up. The goal is to not how much you bend, but how much you straighten. What I love about the balance trainer in this, you can, I can feel my shoulder blades anchoring down. I can feel my sternum anchoring down. So I get that work from the, the very, very uh, origination of the tricep into the elbow joint. That's the insertion. 
And let's go for six. Inhale back. Abs are working. Five. Knuckles to the sky. Four. Big breath. Three. And two. <laughs> One more time. Perfect amount of reps for me today. Bring it down. So let's do another little stretch. Hands, you're going to grab your elbows, put, put your hands, your elbows, forearms behind the head, and then open up the chest and open up your triceps. That should feel pretty darn good. Come on back up. Grab onto one knee, roll yourself up. Now I told you, for those of you that can't do the chest work on laid down flat, I'm gonna show you one bonus exercise, if you will, and then we'll do a stretch. So we're gonna do what's called a, a, a pec, pec deck. And um, I'm gonna go to back to, uh, oh, I'm gonna do nine pound weights, but if you're a beginning, I would say, Go four, seven, go light to begin with, okay? And uh, it'll be very effective for you. Okay, so here's our pec deck. Get on your BOSU, pardon me, BOSU, sorry, balance trainer, wrong product. <laughs> Bend your elbows. You're gonna open up and close. Open and close. If you like this, stay here. You can add a little press up and in. Up. Exhale, elbows in line with the shoulders and come in. Open up, feel your the muscles between your shoulder blades when you open up your elbows and press up. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Stick with the, just the pec press or add the shoulder press. Now these are kind of heavy, I added nine, nine pounds each hand. So I'm fatiguing out. You can see one arm is higher than the other. I gotta get that left up, right elbow up, there we go. <laughs> My right arm is a little weaker. Three and two. I'm left handed if you didn't know. Two more, one more, and up. That shows it every time. Great. So go ahead and release your weight. You can move back in the cradle. And stay standing on, the, on your balance trainer or sit down on the floor with me. And we're going to stretch out a little bit. So, guys, that took me. About 20, let's see, I started at the five minute mark. Uh, so I, I bet that took me about 20, it was about a 22 minute workout, okay? Perfect, isn't it? Just enough. So you're gonna give yourself a big hug and we've got a stretch, that's super important that you stretch too. So one elbow on top of the other as best as you can and lift that bottom elbow up. Open up wide, think you're on the Titanic, thumbs back, lift the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades. Cross over. Now, if you can't cross over, be I dream a genie. That works too. But I want you to try to push your shoulder blades down and lift the elbows up. Take a breath. Take a few breaths. They're free. And open up. Nice and wide. Hands go behind the head. We're going to tuck the chin to the chest, stretching the muscles between the shoulder blades that work so hard to keep you upright. And then open up the chest, lift up. And then bend to one side and bend to the other. We're going to do a little bit of tricep and bicep stretching, and then you're done for the day. Side to side bending here. Open up through the lats. And then bring your hands out. You're going to bring one hand forward, grab onto that palm, and pull the fingertips toward you. Lengthen all the way through. Drop your shoulder. Take a breath. Switch the sides. So I'll be lathing these muscles out for just a few breaths. That's what's important. It's better to do a little stretching than none at all. And then walk one hand down your back and grab your elbow and feel that stretch. Push your head back, lift your chest, maybe take a side bend. And then switch it out, grab on, walk your fingertips back. Oh, I can feel my triceps. I need a, a stretch on this. And then last but not least, you're going to take your hands behind your back. I'm going to show you from behind what it looks like. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms together. Elbows kind of wave them towards center and then push the knuckles down. Once you're there, drop the ear to one side. Chin pulls in the other side. And then again, feel a little stretch. Back. Look over one shoulder. Look over the other shoulder. Shake out your hands. You're going to come all the way up to standing, taking a big breath in, 
a long exhale out, and you, my friends, are done. So about 20, 25 minutes with your stretch. You've got all your upper body parts on your Life Pro Horizon Balance Trainer. Great way to, to add some strength into your routine. Uh, I want to suggest you do this workout at least twice a week. And if you want to add in a little bit more, you can do a second set or add a third day of training. But quality movement, not quantity, that's the name of the game. Posture is everything. If you know, know me already, I'm all about having a good alignment. Head, shoulders, hips in place. But on the balance trainer, a lot more leg and core muscles. For level two, and that's on Friday. And remember, these um, videos are recorded. If you need anything, you're looking for something specific, please don't hesitate to private message me, hit me up uh, through the Life Pro VIP or Life Pro Pay.